by the immense grace of our Guru Nathan, His Holiness Maharani of Shri Shri Muralidhar Swamiji and Shri Madhuri Saki Sameta Shri Premika Varadha Thakurji. Today, I will be speaking about the greatness of Mahamantra. So first of all, what is the mind? I have many, many thoughts and you all also have many, many thoughts and people around the world also have many thoughts. So if we see, we all have different ambitions, different goals, different lifestyles and everything about each person is different. But why is this? It is because of vasanas. So what are vasanas? Vasanas are latent tendencies from previous janmas or lives and the life we are currently in. So our Guru Nathar gives a beautiful example to understand what vasanas are. So let's say there's a sheet of paper and we have a pen and we put a line on the piece of paper. That is like doing something for the first time. And then, when we put a line again on that paper, it's like doing something another time. And then when we do it again, it's like doing the same thing over and over again. So, what is this? So this is a vasana. This becomes a habit when we do something over and over again. And how do we get rid of these vasanas? There are three gunas. Sattva guna, Rajo guna, and Tamo guna. Sattva guna means purity or goodness. And Rajo guna means ego and pride. And Tamo guna means ignorance and laziness. So the first thing our mind will pick up is Tamo guna, which is laziness or ignorance. So this shows that our mind lets our desires win over our jnana or knowledge. So our mind is basically something which says that it has the king's, it wants the king's desires but without the king's responsibilities. Next, which our mind will pick up is Rajoguna which is pride and ego. And then in the end, which our mind has so much difficulty in picking up is sattva guna, which is goodness. Our mind struggles in picking up sattva guna. So, and why is that? Our Guru Nathar gives another beautiful example. There is a lady who does puja every single day for two years. And one day, she falls uh, sick and she's not able to do puja. And that lady, she doesn't feel bad that she's not able to do, but she feels relieved and feels like, oh, I don't have to do this job today. So that shows that a person who has been doing puja every single day for two years even struggles with picking up sattva guna. So in Satya Yuga, there's a war between the devas and asuras. And the devas represent good, while the asuras represent the evil. And Sri Bhagavan, he comes as Kurma Avatara, so the devas can win over the asuras. So the good is able to win over the evil. In Dwapara Yuga, if we see, there's a war between brothers, the Pandavas and the Kauravas. If you see, there are five Pandavas and a hundred Kauravas and Bhagavan comes as Sri Krishna helping the Pandavas win over the Kauravas, which is letting good win over evil. And if we see in Kali Yuga, what is the evil that we have right now? It is within us. It is in our mind. Every single day, we feel these tamasic and rajasic thoughts, and how do we overcome this? <laughs> like how Bhagavan came as Purma Avatara in Satya Yuga, how Bhagavan came as Krishna in Vabar Yuga, Bhagavan comes as the divine name in Kali Yuga. He comes as the Mahamantra that we were just chanting. He comes as Krishna 
He comes as the name of Rama. He comes as the name of Govinda. There's a shloka saying, Dhyayan krute he yajan yajne he Tretayam dvapare archayan Yada toti tadva toti Kalu sankirti keshava What this says is the purpose of and the thing you were supposed to do in Satya Yuga or Krita Yuga is Dhyana. And the spiritual activity you're supposed to do in Treta Yuga is Yajna. The spiritual activity you're supposed to do in Dwapara Yuga is Temple Worship. And the spiritual activity you do in Kali Yuga is chanting the divine name of Padma. So the Shloka says the fruit that you get by doing Dhyana in Satya Yuga, the fruit that you get by doing Yajna in Treta Yuga, the fruit that you get by doing temple worship in Dwapar Yuga, you will get all those Banan just by chanting the divine name in Kali Yuga. This shows us how powerful this Maha Mantra is. And if we chant this Maha Mantra sincerely every day, all our Rajasic and Tamasic thoughts will vanish and will go to a Sattvic state. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe.